Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanna do a response to some comments and a video that I did back in 2020 on Access Sites. And the people came out of the woodwork on this one, had some decent comments, also had some really, really crazy, uh, stupid comments. Uh, but I kinda wanna touch more uh, on that video. Um, guys, I'm not coming at you from a position of um, you know, third-hand knowledge or just my assumption of these sites. I shot these things for four to five years. In the video that I did, I talk about when I changed or when I stopped carrying those big dot sites. And that was when I started to push my shooting abilities and I started to be held accountable to a distance time and an accuracy standard. So let's talk about that drill that I did. It's the flash sight picture drill. And a lot of people kind of got to a point in that video where they might have thought that I said something that validated their opinion and so they stopped and didn't continue watching it. Well, you missed the point. What that video is supposed to show is between five to seven yards and in, depending on your gun, all you need is a flash front sight picture. So it doesn't matter what sight you're using, all I need to see is my front sight to put rounds on target. And yes, big dots are great for that at those distances. All they give you though, is a flash or a gross sight picture. Now, let's say we have to make a 10 yard shot, but instead of trying to shoot high thoracic, I've got to put something in a specific spot on an individual because he's holding my kid hostage. Will those sights, will that gross sight picture of those big dots allow you to make that shot? A lot of people think that I said that big dots aren't accurate. Never said anything about that. And if you go look at videos where people are shooting these big dots, 25, 50, 100 yards, look at the time that it takes for them to get that proper sight alignment to make that shot. It's a significant amount of time. And yes, there is a timer in a gunfight. I'm sorry if you believe otherwise. And that timer is the ability of that person that you're getting in a gunfight with. Going further back, yes, you can make long distance shots with big dots, but it takes a significant amount of time to properly line those sights up because all they give you is that gross sight picture. Guys, and if you're making shots at 25 yards and even further, and yes, there's been documented cases of it, I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but if you're making those shots at greater distances with all you have is a gross sight picture, guys, that is complete negligence. The benefit that big dots claim that they have up close, I can achieve that with any sights. It's when you get further back out, when you get at further distances, or even at closer distances, but you've got to make a precision shot. That's where these things fail, in my opinion. Another thing I want to talk about is big dot users are saying that these sites are for their combat sites. They're not for competition. Shooting well and being a good gunfighter, they are not mutually exclusive. If you want to get good at fighting, then go practice fighting. Go train Muay Thai. Go train Jiu Jitsu. You want to get good at shooting? Go shoot competition. Go train. Go take some classes. You want to be a good gunfighter? then put those two together. Those are not mutually exclusive events. Competition shooters, that will make you a better shooter. That translates to self-defense issues. I don't know why people don't see that. And while I'm on this high horse, I wanna ask y'all, do you know of any high-level competition shooter who actually shoots and wins with big dots? Because I sure as heck don't know that. So guys, Shooting is shooting. It doesn't matter if I'm in a competition or I'm in a two-way gunfight with somebody else. Shooting is shooting. If you want to limit yourself to only making shots close up, gross side alignment shots, go ahead and stick with your big dots. But if you want to start holding yourself accountable for the shots that you take, if you want to start holding yourself accountable to a distance, a time, and an accuracy standard, if you want to start pushing your skills and to get better, so that you can get as good as you can because when the day comes, we're defaulting to our lowest level of training that we have mastered. Figure out what you wanna do. You wanna push your skills, you wanna be as good as you can, great, then I would encourage you to do that. You happy with the status quo? Knock yourself out. You do you, but I'm just coming at y'all from experience, guys. I've shot these things and I'll honestly believe by shooting them for as long as I did, it set me back in my ability. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I would encourage you big dot users, put your ego aside, put your feelings aside, look at the evidence. Do you honestly believe that those are the best sites that you can use for your pistol? 
I'll let you make that decision yourself. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video.